Hi, I'm Roy. Today, we are going to discuss the EWRB Electrician Regulation Exam. This exam is crucial for anyone aspiring to become a registered electrician in New Zealand. We'll cover what the exam entails, how to prepare, and what to expect on the exam day. The EWRB Electrician Regulation Exam is an online and open book test conducted by Aspect Limited. You need to register through the Aspect system and book your exam online. During the booking process, you'll be informed about the necessary reference materials you are permitted to bring into the exam room. The exam costs $135 excluding GST and is available throughout the year at various Aspect facilities. Results are typically released within 24 hours. If you need help with sitting exams, extra assistance is available. You can apply for additional time or a reader, though this comes with an extra cost. Discuss your options with your training provider before applying for assistance. The theory exam lasts for 180 minutes and includes 85 questions and include calculations related to voltage drop and maximum demand. To pass, you need to score at least 60%. The exam includes different types of questions. Multiple choice questions, MCQs one correct answer with three to four options. Multiple select questions, more than one correct answer with four to five options. Numeric questions, requires you to enter the correct numbers using the keyboard. The number could include decimal places. This regulation exam is not just about the Act, regulations, standards, and the New Zealand Electrical Code of Practice. It includes two types of calculations. It is an open book exam, but you are only allowed to bring two documents into the exam room, one copy of the Electricity Safety Regulations 2010 and one copy of Standards AS, NZS 3000, 2007. Be careful, highlighting and tabbing of pages is permitted, but no handwriting in the documents is allowed. All documents must be professionally bound, spiral or thermal. No paper clipped or stapled documents will be accepted. For the full content of this exam subject, please refer to the teaching guideline on the EWRB website. Let's look at the subject content, which includes letters A, B, C, and D that represent the knowledge candidates are expected to attain and are examined on. The ASPEC exams will include all the A and B topics and topics with any C that align with the critical essential capabilities. From my experience, if students focus only on A and B subjects in the teaching guidelines and master them, they will undoubtedly pass this regulation exam. Otherwise, there are too many C topics to prepare for. If an exam question falls into the C group, you just need to refer to the material provided on screen to answer it. Remember, it is an open book exam, so the material is either in the documents you brought in or on the screen with the question. As exam questions could refer to any documents listed in the teaching guideline, and the total number of documents is 51, it is impossible to prepare for all of them. This brings another problem, timing. If you need to study or read new materials during the exam, your exam time will be very tight. My suggestion is to become very familiar with A and B materials first, so you have enough time to deal with the more difficult ones during the exam. Generally, the questions will be one concept, one mark. It sounds easy, and it is an open book exam, but the regulation exam tests your reading capability and your ability to correctly interpret the sentence meaning in the materials and questions. For me, regulation exam questions often have tricky wording. The meaning of the questions can sometimes be very confusing. I suggest finding the original sentence on the reference page first and comparing the words between the question and the reference source to get the correct answer. Don't worry, the good news is that the passing rate of the regulation exam is much higher than that of the theory exam. Let's take a closer look at the passing rates for the EWRB electrician regulation exam over the past few years. 2020. The passing rate was 61.4%. 2021. The passing rate was 57.6%. 2022. The passing rate was 64.1%. 2023. The passing rate was 65.6%. The average passing rate from 2020 to 2023 is approximately 62.2%, compared to the average passing rate of the theory exam at 51.8%. By understanding these historical passing rates, 
you can better gauge the effort and preparation needed to pass the EWRB electrician regulation exam. Remember, thorough preparation and self-assessment are key to passing the EWRB electrician regulation exam. Keep practicing and stay confident. To prepare for the EWRB electrical regulation exam, you need to focus on the subjects A and B listed in the teaching guidelines available on the EWRB website. There are two methods to prepare for this regulation exam. Method 1, 4 ASNZS 3000 and Electricity Safety Regulation 2010 questions. I suggest using old EWRB exam papers, paper versions from before the online exams started in 2019, to help you become familiar with those two documents. For other documents, please read through the book to gain some familiarity. Another effective way to prepare is by taking practice mock EWRB exams online, as the real EWRB exam is conducted online. I have created an online mock exam using Moodle, based on the structure of the actual EWRB exam. This includes a question bank covering all A and B subjects from the teaching guidelines, totaling 1,316 questions across all categories. This mock exam will help you become familiar with the exam settings and evaluate your readiness for the real exam. Let's move to calculation questions. The regulation exam includes calculations related to voltage drop and maximum demand. These calculation questions are relatively easy to score after watching my training video. I'll cover tips for handling these calculation questions in another video. By systematically going through each document in the teaching guidelines and practicing with the mock exam, you can ensure thorough preparation for the EWRB electrical regulation exam. 2024, good luck.